what's good youtube it's your girl spider girl and i'm in the mood to just make a video okay just something simple nothing too crazy okay <clears throat> so this is my little first mukbang by myself i don't know if you consider it a mukbang but this is just a video of me eating or trying something new for the first time okay so guys i went to wendy's today Wendy's ain't new to me, okay? But what's in the bag, the food that's in this bag, that's what's new to me, okay? Yo, I got this salad. It's called a cob salad. Never tried it, okay? So I'll be trying it today on today. And also, <clears throat> the idea came from my boyfriend, of course. Shout out to Spider God Sanchez. Y'all go subscribe to his channel as well. Spider God Sanchez. That's his name, y'all. May sound crazy, but it's creative but he eats this salad majority of the time when we go to Wendy's I've never had it so that's why I'm trying it so I'm trying to see how good it is for myself okay you, you, you know when you see somebody else eating some you're like dang they tearing it up they really tearing it up that's gotta be good I, I gotta try this I gotta see what the name of it is and I'm gonna get it next time yeah, so that's what we're doing in this video. So I'm just give y'all a visual of how this salad looking. To me, it looks fantastic. It looks like delicious. What they say in Spanish, Spanish, deliciosa. It looks so delicious. Yes, it does. But how y'all doing today? Yes, I'm currently sitting in here wearing all black in my house. Y'all wonder why she got on all black or something like that. Well, guys, I'm in scrubs. I wear scrubs to work, okay? That's part of my job, okay? I work with kids. So, if you ever looking for a babysitter, hit me up. All right, hit me up. You know what? Oh, Joseph, I'm just kidding because I, I deal with them. I'm dealing with them five days out of a week, okay? That is so tiresome. And I ain't even got my own kids. So, it's like, that's why I got so much patience. So much patience for those kids, okay? That's the only reason why I can deal with them. But genuinely, y'all, I love kids. That's why I work with them. But this is how this cob salad looks, guys. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it looks so good. You got the bacon. You got the chicken. You got the cheese. You got the eggs. You got the lettuce. You know what I'm saying? You got the tomatoes. You got everything on this platter but y'all gonna see me mix this all together okay yes yes i'm talking about my hair it's done i just got it done it's to me i gotta fix it up a little bit but you know what i'm saying it's on point it's on point y'all and these are crispy onions if you know me if you don't know me i don't like onions so we're not eating these okay only thing we're going to use is this ranch. This ranch dressing, okay? This is Wendy's ranch dressing, okay? But first, we're going to mix everything all together. And, yeah, I really ain't got nothing to sit my food on. So, that's why it's really sitting on the couch, for real. But it's okay. But if you really want to know what I get from Wendy's when I go there, ooh, we, I love their fruit salad. Well, yeah, I love their fruit salad and, and their um, taco salad, for real. That's the only two salads that I've tried. No, 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 it wasn't the fruit salad. It's actually the apple, apple pecan or something like this salad. And it was good, actually. Them, them, that's the first salad I tried from Wendy's. Now, this right here looks more salad D. okay? And what I mean about that is giving. It's giving, okay? Yes, it's given. Like, yeah, I've gene, uh, I have made my own salad before. And so, you know, I'm planning on making another one again. It's been a minute since I made my own salad. You get what I'm saying? It's easy to make a salad. Because you can just throw your own little stuff in there. You get what I'm saying? Eggs, cheese, pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, you know, bacon bits. Croutons, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. I mean, I really don't too much care for croutons, but you know, they're just breaded crumbs anyway. But 
it's okay. Like, I'm sitting here driving food right now, but... But y'all probably want what you got to drink to eat all that? Y'all, I got myself a tall, large strawberry lemonade, okay? Let's jump in here. I had to sip. I had to stop talking just to take a sip because it be hit. I usually get a pineapple mango, okay? I usually get a pineapple mango to drink, but this time I just went on. Well, this is like the third, fourth time in a row that I'm drinking on strawberry lemonade. It's busting. It's a refreshing drink. It's so good, okay? Very good. And you cannot go wrong with it. But like I said, pineapple mango was a go-to for me also. It's still my go-to. I still, I'm still going to drink it. You know, I'm still going to get it. You get what I'm saying? But... I've just been in a strawberry lemonade mood. Sort of. Yeah. Right now, I'm just mixing the salad together. Putting everything, they're putting everything together. So, you know what I'm saying? I can go ahead and start eating or tasting because, like I said, this is my first time tasting the um, Cobb salad. And if you don't know what the Cobb salad is, go to Wendy's and ask for one if you have one. I know a lot of people in different states and stuff like that probably don't even have Wendy's because I know I've heard that most people don't even have a Zaxby's yet because we have Zaxby's here too, y'all. And um, truly, I was excited to even get one of those because who... I, was, I used to go to Zaxby's all the time, and basically all the time, out of, out of town. So it was very, it was a plus to get one here in uh, Mississippi, where I'm from. Yes, it was. But yeah, y'all subscribe to the channel here, you know what I'm saying? I don't do very much. I don't be on YouTube very much. I don't want to, like, pursue YouTube as a career or anything. Uh, I just want to do something since I have a YouTube account, basically. You know, entertainment purposes. Because I'm very funny and very creative. And I have the potential to do anything. And, like, that's what anybody... You have the potential to do anything. You really do. You may think that you can't do something, but deep down on the inside, you can. You really can. You can do anything that you put your mind to. And that's no lie. Or what they say. And that's no bull. Okay? I'm telling you, you just have to keep that mentality. And I'm telling you how far you'll go in life if you keep the mentality of, I can do this, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? But don't forget that you need a helping hand, too. Sometimes you need a helping hand. Like, let people help you. Like, let me tell you something. I struggle with that. That's one of my biggest problems. I do not like to depend or to eat. Because I feel like a if I'm asking for something i'm being or wanting to somebody to help me with something or whatever else if i ever if i ask for this i'm being a burden to them because you know i feel like i should be able to get it myself rather than depending on them to do it for me you get what i'm saying that's how i think and i think that that's my biggest flaw in life that's what's gonna set me back for thinking that a you know, you always think, you know what I'm saying? You always, you, you, you think, you're thinking too hard. Basically, you thinking, I'm thinking too hard about things. You know, you're not being a bother. You're not being a burden to nobody else. You know, people should be willing to help you because you are a person who's willing to help them. And I know I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind helping nobody. I don't mind being there for anybody. Because that's just the person I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. 
deep down, that's how God created me. To be this nice, kind person. To reach out to people. To mentor people that need help. You know what I'm saying? Genuinely, that's that's just the person I am, y'all. I'm just putting myself out there a little bit. So y'all can get to know the real me. Now, this right here. I done put two packs of wrench on it, okay? I used both packs of wrench because they already knew what the bean was. If it's a it was a lot of wrench because this is a big salad. Yes, it is. But that's a big salad. I'm asking, where you at right now? Well, currently, I'm at the house. In my own little place, my own little space. That's what it is. Place, space. It rhymes for a reason. You know. You know what I'm saying? I got my first place at 21 years old, okay? That's how proud I am of myself. Because I'm 22 now. So I've been in here for a year. And y'all, I'm trying to make the best of it. You know. I have big goals, big future plans for this year. For this upcoming year, you know what I'm saying? Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Like, life is life. And, you know, I mean, a lot going to change, especially job-wise. Because, you know, I'm not planning on staying where I am for a long period of time. Because I'm going to stay in the field of child care. But one day, I'm just going to go and get these licenses and be a certified teacher because that's what i want to do that's basically what i want to do in life i want to teach somebody's child or you know by teaching somebody else's child it's like teaching yourself again you know what i'm saying it's like really a help to you because you may be telling that child something that dang you didn't even realize that you need to hear that for yourself too but that's kind of a kind of a thing i want to do in life but let's try this salad, though. Okay? I'm just in here digging in it. I ain't tried nothing. Okay, let's see how it goes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. y'all it really is it really is when i taste the meat when i taste the grilled chicken it tastes basically the same as, as honest egg i don't know if you guys know you probably don't even know nothing about honest egg you are probably listen i don't even know if you guys have an honest egg where you are honest egg is a mixture of donuts slash salads okay they're known for their donuts, but they just started selling salads for real. So then it will spice up the restaurant and people will start coming and have something, you know, a little extra to buy or whatever. They sell at a really high price. That's why, because they're good. They're good though. You can get however much meat you want on there. You can get two different meats. So you can probably even add three if you want to. If you ask, but that's a lot of meat though. They probably charge your legs for that. But it's like grilled chicken and you know, what else kind of, it's grilled chicken. I can't remember what, let's see. Okay, we actually have this right here, right here now. As we speak, we have this. So we can actually tell you that they have turkey, ham, roast beef, grilled chicken and chicken salad. For their meats. That's their choices of meats. But you can get like. I think you get over. Two kinds of meats if you want to. But I know my boyfriend. Actually gets the. Um, grilled chicken and the turkey mix. You know so. You know, that's what he likes. But this sounds. That's good though. I'm not going to lie to you okay. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I did tell him I was making this video. I 
I'm telling them I was going to make a video because, hey, I actually wanted to do a video with him, but then I decided, like, man, let me go ahead and do this video by myself because he already tried the cob salad and it would be like, mm, and he's just over here trying the same thing and I'm, you know what I'm saying, so why not go solo for real? You know, he did himself a little solo video. Yeah, so let me do me one too. How about that? It's some crackers, y'all. It tastes like it just needs some crackers in here for real. Like, what are crackers in? right there now and drink that whole thing but why would i do that and when i can say something for real because i don't want to be getting back and forth up using the restroom y'all y'all get tired of getting back and forth up using the bathroom like that stuff is so annoying like i really hate getting out the bed when i have to go I do. Like, cause, man, I'm, you know, cause when you tired, you don't feel like getting up. You just want to lay there. That's what you do. It's normal. My next video might be something about me getting my very purchasing my very first car. I might take y'all with me or something. I might do that or something. I'm just thinking of ideas of what I can do for y'all. Even though I said in the little beginning, not too far, not too crazy, not too crazy, but not too far in the video, I said, um, that I won't be pursuing YouTube as a career. I won't. I'm just doing this video for entertainment purposes only. And I hope you guys like it up and comment. Because I like to talk, okay? I don't know. I am an extrovert. That's what I am. I'm good at talking to people. I'm good at... I guess I'm good at making friends or keeping the right company. You know what I'm saying? That's me. I bring a good vibe. I put a smile on people's faces. Like, it's natural. You know, I make you laugh. Just not, but just, just by not doing that, nigga be... Dead funny for no reason. You feel me? <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, but this salad is uh, really a 10 out of 10 for real. And I would get it again. I will get it again. Without a doubt, I would. Mm. 
And if I do make a salad of my own man, I might make it just like this. But better, you know. But guess what? It can't get no better than this, honestly. about people they be so stingy with their meat it's like that's the most important that's the most important part of the salad the meat but it's unhealthy still though so. but meat is good protein so it ain't too bad when you don't eat too much of it Depending on how you're cooking it. <clears throat> yeah, I need to stop eating too much too. I really do. Yeah, it's come a time where I see myself eating a whole lot. And, and it's like, I don't know my limits. Like, kind of like a child. They see you eating a snack and they've already eaten. And then they want, they want some of what you got. And it's like, dang, did you already eat? He's like, yeah, I did, but I want some more. Kind of like that. Perfect example. You know, you know, we just see stuff to just want it, but no, we don't need it. <clears throat> and that's just me, okay? We don't need it. Like, I can sit there and probably eat, uh, what can I eat? A whole hamburger for lunch. On lunch break or something, hamburger and fries, and then by the time we get out from work, um, I want something else. I really gotta stop this for real. Even though I probably should, if it's a salad or something, I probably should. I can go ahead and eat it right away, or have put it. I can save that for later if I don't want to eat it right then. But and I can also save the rest of that food. The other kind of food, like hamburger fries and stuff, even though fries don't even taste good the next day when you want them, they really don't. So they're really good for the garbage. But the hamburgers and stuff, hey, it's all right. You still can eat it. It's not like I haven't done it once before. It, it was a point in time where I didn't get around to the food and it wasn't just in the refrigerator. And I was just sitting there thinking about it, like, oh, yeah, I want to eat it. Should I eat it now? But then it was like, it was already 11 o'clock, so why am I finna sit here and eat something and it's past the time I should be even, I should be in the bed, like, so I'm just wait on that and just say that for lunch the next day. And so that's what I need probably to start doing. Instead of eating right off, just get the food for later, the, la the food that I, when I get off, that I get, that I'm gonna get for later, and just put that up. For the next day and have that for lunch you know smart way because then i want to buy food for lunch and then also i won't have to you know be eating so much at the same time you know what i'm saying yeah so one time a day won't hurt for real it really won't because it feels like sometimes it feels like we have so much food in our bodies already at one time for real and you know when you feel when your stomach heavy, yes, you're still full for real. And I be feeling kind of full still and still want to eat. Because that's just me. And food is like, who doesn't like to eat though? <laughs> I mean, hey, you probably say, well, you don't even look that big. But girl, the fat... Is on the inside, okay? It might not show on the outside, but it's on the inside. And I am going to get myself together, okay? I'm going to exercise. That's one of the main goals for this year. I suppose been hitting the gym. But and I need to um I I need to do that. I'm gonna start that, okay? 
And I did. I'm gonna record that too. I'm gonna be taking y'all around with me and stuff like, cause I want to do vlogging and all that stuff too. Cause I see a bunch of YouTubers doing that, and so that that's an inspiration. But even though I said I don't want to make YouTube a career, but I'm gonna start doing little stuff just for you guys, okay? Cause hey, everything is worth the chance, right? You know what I'm saying? Everything is worth the chance to do. You feel me? So why not do it? Just have fun with it, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do. Just have fun with this. Because this is like, this simple and cool at the same time. Like, it, it's basically free money for real. Like, so why not? Yeah. And then if I continue to do it, and if I ever decide that I want to make a career, then I could just be sitting at home doing this. Just like everybody else is. And be a black entrepreneur. It's not too many of us. So, it's good to have your own little business without everybody in your business. Because you ain't got to be on social media and allow everybody to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it ain't good to let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. Because a lot of people are not proud of you. That is a true statement. But, that salad is good, y'all. And I'm glad I actually can talk to y'all without being nervous. Like, mm -mm. it was a point in time when I was on camera with my boyfriend. When he, in fact, when I found out that he did YouTube. Y'all, y'all know how nervous I was to get on the camera. And and people was not even there for real. It's the crazy thing about it. It's like, why are you so nervous and the crowd is not even there? But you know that they're going to be watching you from the outside. So it's like they on the outside looking in them. You feel what I'm saying? So what you so nervous about? Because it really doesn't matter what... Basically what I'm saying is this. It doesn't matter what someone thinks about you or... or it doesn't matter how you see yourself. Just know you're going somewhere. And how you gonna get there? You gonna get there by your faith. You will. You gonna get there. You gonna get there. You gonna get there by your faith. Like I said, I was nervous for whatever reason. It was shocking. Like this dude really do do YouTube. <laughs> you know how much stuff we can do. You know how much stuff popped in my head when I found out that he did YouTube. I was like, dang, he did you too. I was always, I was always thinking in my head that I really wanted to do YouTube with somebody. And there's that guy. But he never know this. But he gonna know today. <laughs> when he watched the video, he gonna know today. But y'all, the salad is good. So, like I said, go to Wendy's. And just order you a car salad. Because it's bussing. Okay? Just order you a car salad. Because it's bussing. B-U-S-S-I-N-G. B-U-S-S-I-N-G. Okay. Okay, it's bussin', 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 baby, baby, baby. It's bust down time. Yeah, but I like to sell it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. 
I enjoyed myself talking to you guys. Hope you guys got something out of it. Um, yes, yeah, so I had to end it on a note about me being, me always wanting to be with somebody who did YouTube. I really did have to end it on that note. Because it's amazing how God puts things together when you think about things. See, you never know what God got in store for you until you think outside the box. So think outside the box. And I'm, I'm telling you, your blessings will be on the way. So have a good, blessed day. Peace out.